brain. You know that thing inside your head about the size of a peanut? <laughs> well, at least I've got something inside my head, unlike some people. <laughs> um, Ron, do you want to go get some fairy floss or something? I couldn't possibly. Not without a triple thick shake to go with it. Fiona, the hounds of hell I would brave because your love is all I crave. I love you, Pete. Oh, bad luck, kid. Jab wins again. Next. Your turn, matey. Hold that thought. Hey. Come on through there. There you go, Sonny. Helmet on. Where you go. How's it going, champ? <laughs> no problem. our minds. I'm in your body and you're in mine. You guys okay? No. We've got to get back and play that game. We've got to get back into the oh, machine. Oh, no, no. The machine's shot. I'll have to fix it. What are you talking about? How long will that take? Oh, tonight sometime. Maybe 11. What's wrong with you anyway? You look all right to me. We can't let on. What? My wife will have a heart attack. Pretend you're me for now and we'll meet at 11 o'clock and we'll switch back then, okay? You're all right. Act normal. Pete, you were great. Come on, let's go get some pizza. Yeah. Great, I'm stuffed. Oh, Harold, thank heaven you're safe. Did you see how that boy grabbed me? She hugged him. I mean, how could she do that? Anything the matter, Pete? You look a bit down. Pete. Oh, you're talking to me. Not oh, nothing. I'm fine. Look like you might need a bit of cheering up. You want to cheer me up? Sell the lighthouse. Pardon? Nothing. Uh, Tony, uh, Dad. 
honestly, I'm feeling pretty unexcellent, if you know what I mean. Unexcellent. Can I be straight with you? <laughs> about you wanting to move out of the lighthouse? I don't. It's just an act, for Dad's sake. What? Think about it. Dad and Faye are in love, and sometimes they want their own privacy. Now, there's not a lot of room in the lighthouse for privacy. I'm sure we dig this place, but we must think of them. Dig. What are you talking about? Faye loves this place and so does Dad. Maybe they used to, but how can you be sure they still do? You have totally spun out. <sighs> Linda, I am totally unspun on this one. Unspun? Come on, Bronson. The lighthouse is as good as mine. <laughs> Finally cracked. Nonsense. I was watching that. Harold, I've been really worried about you lately. I know you've been under a lot of stress. There was an incident today. I blame the twists. If only they'd get rid of that old dump of the lighthouse, you could achieve your dream and build a casino. But until then, darling, if there's anything. Anything you want to tell me about? Anything I can help you with? Yeah, have you got any frozen Mars bars? Twists must pay. Stock markets around the world today rebounded sharply despite last-minute jitters at the end of trading yesterday. Oh, good, we're all here. I think it's time we had a family meeting. I cannot wait. I want to see how the yen held up today. Now, uh, Pete raised an important issue earlier today. Dad, we know, and we don't want to move house. Yeah, just because Faye takes up all the room doesn't mean we have to move. Me? That's not what I said. What I said was that maybe we need a more normal place, where everyone gets a bit more space. You want space? Why don't you sit in the ocean? <laughs> and that's enough, Linda. The rule in this family is one in, all in. And if Pete's got something he wants to talk about, well then... Well, he's got a right to say it. And Pete? Look, if this has anything to do with my moving in... No, it's nothing to do with you. It's just... I want it to be normal for a change. But if nobody else wants to... It's OK. I understand. Bike. Well, if the carnival is gone, I mean, what are we going to do now? There's no need to panic. I'll just make a few phone calls and I'll find it and we'll switch tomorrow. In the meantime, we keep up the act. No way! I'm sick of this fat body! Oh, have you known that that is pure muscle, boy? It wobbled! Look! Shh. Let's just stay calm and we'll deal with this tomorrow. Now, is there anything I should know about your life? Yeah. If Fiona comes up to you tomorrow, just... Don't talk to her, don't have anything to do with her, just stay away from her, don't touch her, all right? Because if you don't, I swear I'll do something. <laughs> Let's not get silly. Is there 
Is there anything about your plans you want me to know? Nothing I can think of offhand. Hey. You. Yes, I'm looking for a carnival. Whatever you want, Petey. Wasn't that hot the way he ignored me like that? One day he's reading me the most wonderful poetry and the next he doesn't even know I exist. I just love that in a guy. He read you poetry? Yeah, from this. are the lowest form of life on the planet. How dare you use a Viking book of love on my best friend? Hold on. Back off, Kung Fu. I don't care what you're babbling about. Just stay out of my face, OK? Right, Twist. Now you're going to suffer the consequences of messing with a gribble. Feed your dog a bone and lock him in his kennel. Want an important phone call? You should seriously consider mouthwash. Enough about me. Good morning, you are <laughs> Hold on. Back off, twerp. What do you want? 30 grand a year? Don't tell me what to do. Read my mustache! Detention! <laughs> Good morning! How are you feeling this morning? Um, I, I think you know I've really got to go to the, uh, to the office. Midlife crisis. narrow road. No, it's a dump. I wouldn't put a dog up there. What? I don't know if I've got anything else, all right? Listen, I'm trying to find a carnival. Call me back. Uh, good morning. Dad. Da-da. Uh, uh, Turnbone. Uh, come in, sit down. Tell me, what sort of pizza did you have last night? I didn't come here to talk about pizza. I've come to ask your advice about selling the lighthouse. It's an excellent idea, isn't it? No way! It's a rotten idea. I love that place. Oh, well, I haven't made decisions yet. I'm just a bit worried about Pete. Pete? Yeah, he's at that age where 
Well, fitting in is important to him, and I just thought that I'd make a few inquiries. Excellent. <laughs> so that's why I didn't want to swap back last night. Dirty rat. Um, Tony, let's, let's talk about this. Now, are you sure it's the same carnival that was in Port Miranda yesterday? No, I don't want to know what you think. Are you sure? Good. And when is it in Bigsville? Great. Thank you. So, Twist, how have you enjoyed detention? Oh, it was terrible. I'm so remorseful you wouldn't believe. Oh, I've learnt my lesson. Which today. is? Never insult a public servant with an overinflated sense of his own importance. Mmm. Time for your lesson, Twist. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a stage he's going through. I'll have a talk to him. No need to do anything drastic like sell the lighthouse. Dad, you have to sell. Pete, what's happened to you? Long story, just sell. No, Dad. No, Tony. Don't sell. Don't listen, Dad. By the way, I found it. You have? I've got to go. Don't sell. Come on. Don't just stand there, woman. Say something. Get Tony a contract. Sell, Dad. Sell. What did you do that to Dad for? It was a joke. I didn't expect him to act on it. What are you doing? Get that out. Come on. On second thoughts, it'll look better if you drive. Oh, no! That poor boy. I think it's worse than you thought. What do you mean? Well, he seems so confused. Maybe it is time for a change. I tell you, I'm not authorised to turn the machine on until the carnival starts. And nothing you can say will make me change my mind. Uh, though, you are beginning to mount a very convincing argument. Do something! I'm back! Happy to be in your own body for a change? <laughs> He's a bit shell-shocked. I better drive then. Come on. Yeah. Okay, see you later, boys. Elwood. Where are you, Rat? Elwood? I think I can safely say your son is experiencing a spiritual crisis of the deepest order. I think I can help you. We've got something that speaks to you right now. It's about parents wanting to put their real estate ahead of their children. I don't think you'll regret this. You're doing the right thing for your son. did it for you. Come on, let's break the news to the others and hope they don't kill us. Harold, we did it! We got the lighthouse! We did it! <laughs> How could you do
do this without even asking us. Well, I thought I was doing the right thing. You, you know, for, for Pete's sake. But what about one in all in? I love this place. So do I. What? I should never have trusted Gribble. You trusted him? It's a long story. Tell it. Harold, I, I've just been on the phone to Philip and he says that... Harold? What are you gonna do? Yeah, we'll just tell them they got the lighthouse under false pretenses and we want it back. But how can you prove he was in Pete's body? I mean, people will think we're loonies. Get used to it. You're a twist now. He's gone completely mad! He's chewing up the desk and, oh my lord, the droppings. Oh, gross. Somebody's already torn up the contract. Okay, everybody leave. Very quietly. Help me. Someone help me. I think I've got fleas. Help me. 